Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Gemini Soul. This is your reading for the month of April. Uh, we did have the Five of Cups. Just wanted to show itself, but I'm going to put it back in the deck. Um, I'm feeling like this is some energy around you, Gemini. All right? Um, maybe... <clears throat> Someone around you misses your energy, misses being around you. You may be dealing with someone that has a loss around them at this time, okay? Gemini, this message may not resonate with all of you guys. If it does, take what resonates and what does not, let it fly. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you tuned in to this message, I feel there's a message here that the spirit guides would like to share with you. I'm going to talk to you first about the energies that I pulled out when I was meditating on your energy, and then I'm going to clear it up with some tarot, okay? And then we're going to use um, the higher you helpers to give you some help and whatever comes out here, some guidance. But let's talk about the cards that came out first for you, Gemini. And it's from the Book of Shadows Tarot. The first card that came out was the Wheel of the Year. Gemini, I feel that this year there's some things that you're dealing with, but I feel a lot of you Geminis are letting the past go. You're doing a lot of healing. You're moving forward. You realize there are some things that maybe has kept you stuck or stagnant at some point in time but the wheel of the year is definitely talking about having the abundance in the fire um that's what's lit up the most on this wheel that's where the light shines so i feel that the spirit guides are giving you enough fire and energy and perspective on life to realize the things that you can change and the things you can't change. We do have abundance here, which is prosperity. It's just like fruit, like the fruits of your labors, whatever you've been working on. You're starting to see certain things pay off for you. And I think that is what's really motivating you to realize that there's a change that is happening this year for you. Now, the year may have started off a little choppy for you, some of you, but I also feel some of you was just enlightened as the year began. You knew there was things that you needed to do and change. You have the fire card coming out here. You may have fire in your chart. You may be dealing with someone around you with fire, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, but with this fire, it's about charging forward. With the moon being so much in the red, I know it's very passionate. There's some changes you had to make in your life that you realized had to happen, right? Yet you had to move forward. You had to disconnect from certain things. And I feel that in the past, there was things that was so connected to your heart and your soul maybe even what you felt you desired or you wanted, and you realize that there was something more, that you deserve more, that you were going to move forward, that you was going to release certain things from your life that no longer serve you, okay? Your next card is another fire card, and this card represents, you know, dreams and goals, some of them that you probably didn't even know you had until you began to use that fire to move forward and release things in your past. I feel this is also saying that you're standing your ground. You're now understanding what it is that truly completes you, what it is that you want. And you're really holding the faith, holding the space for something better, greater, better movement, in your life moving forward. The last card you had come out is meditation. Okay. Gemini's, I feel like a lot of you have been 
having a difficulty in being able to meditate and find answers to certain things that you feel you need to have the answer to. And as spirit guides are saying, in time. In time, the answers will come forth. Um, on this meditation card, it is looking to... These cards are the shadows of tarot, which is above. These are the answers that you're seeking from above. And we have a father and a mother figure on this card. So you could be dealing with something with your mother and father. You could be needing to make a decision between your mother and father. You could also be torn. Uh, and this is not for all. If you've had a loss of a mother or father, um, you could feel that you wish that they were here to give you guidance or help or nourish and care. It's like, I feel like some of you sometimes just wish you can, <laughs> this is what I'm hearing, just go back to being that child that has no worries and cuddle up to mom or have a chat with dad. So you may be missing that, that emotional touch in conversation from your mom or your father. Some of you could be getting much closer with your mom or your dad, um, but I feel that there may be some decisions you're forced to make when it comes to where you want to show up with your heart. Um, but we're gonna get more into the message here. So, Let's take a look at why the wheel of the year is here. We're talking about fire. We're talking about abundance, prosperity. It looks very good. It just seems like there are some things that you're not quite sure of. Some of you may have a decision in jobs. You may have a decision in things around you that feels kind of confusing, confused right now. Let's see, why is the wheel of the year here? Yeah, we have the three of swords here. Some of this confusion comes from disappointment. So you may have been disappointed in the way a situation was supposed to work out for you, Gemini. And then the strength card. This is definitely saying, you know, I feel that this is like your past energy where you felt like you wasn't strong enough to get over the hurt and pain and to move forward. And the universe is saying you are strong enough, right? You may even be, some of you are holding back what you feel about a situation. We have the Six of Pentacles and we have uh, the Hierophant in reverse. Gemini, some of you have a doubt that you'll ever find that one specific person or relationship that you can really depend on and put your all in that's going to give you an equal give and take in a relationship. Some of you are choosing not to have a higher commitment because of the past and you just feel like you don't have the strength to go through it again, that you've been hurt, right? We started off with the five of cups, so it could have been you. It could be you now having some regrets about situation that didn't work out. We have the four pinnacles in reverse. Definitely a time to let go of these thoughts and mindsets. Because Gemini, you can have love in your life. You can have an equal give and take. Yes, maybe there's something that happened and it needs some more healing. It needs uh, uh, more guidance. And that's what I feel with imagination. Some of you are dreaming of a better time of being released from the past. Um, but I feel a lot of you doing that. You're doing a lot of healing. It hasn't been easy. And you have an idea exactly. Your heart knows what it wants. And the one thing you have to work on, Gemini, is releasing the hurt and pain. For There's some hurt or pain that you... Some of you may be past this point, 
and you have released it with the four of pentacles because four of pentacles upright is holding on to it with it in reverse this is you getting over that time of whatever disappointment whether it was family whether it was friends whether it was a relationship commitment whatever that is you're getting past that you're letting it go and then you have fire this is moving forward this is using everything you got your legacy completing cycles family abundance and i told you you have abundance here there is some type of increase financially if it hasn't happened it is happening this is you coming together in a committed relationship even if it's just family maybe something you thought wasn't working out in the family with sisters and brothers or family coming together um, the universe has your back and they're working on this situation. The Ten of Pentacles, you're ending old cycles. This could be about your finances, yes. This is fire moving forward. You have the King of Pentacles. This is balance. This is being stable, having this family. And I know right now, some of you could be in this place already where you're feeling much better that you've released some things in the past and you're starting to see a brighter future for yourself. Someone could be coming into your life that wants to build with you. Um, it could be an um, a earth sign around you, Sagittarius. Um, I'm sorry, an earth sign around you, which is a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. And this could be you just empowering this, knowing what it is that you want because it comes under the fire. So that's like you know what it is that you truly want, what you have to offer. We have the Four of Cups here. I feel there's an offer coming towards you, and you're going to have to make a decision, or you have made a decision. Yeah. So we got the Five of Cups that came out at first, came right back out. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is the beautiful empress in waiting. You may have dealt with someone in the past, a family disconnection, earth sign, could have been very valuable in this situation that came to an end. Maybe it didn't show up the way you needed it to with the four cups. The offer was not fulfilling to you. You were not happy with it. Um, and it became some type of loss. But this loss made you so much more independent. It made you really realize how much strength you have within yourself. And some of you just feel that you're okay in your energy of being single. Like you're going to wait for the right person, the right time. Um, because you're good, you're good all on your own, Gemini. I feel that... The universe is letting you know, like, you can do this all on your own. This is not a place where you can't survive by doing it on your own. Whatever disappointment this was, what invitation you didn't take, it was good for you. It was the best thing for you because you became more powerful, more strong, more able to stand on your own, knowing exactly what it is. I feel some of you chose you. Now, some of you could be just definitely could be talking about a divorce, a separation, a long-term commitment that is over, that, yes, there was some type of loss. You could have lost, but you didn't lose a lot because you went from the 10 to the 9. So if you lost something, it wasn't much. You're still stable. You're still standing strong. You're still able to do what it is that you need to do for yourself. And some of you have realized that, that at the end of the day, maybe you gave too much to a situation and you were losing yourself. But some of you Geminis have really found yourself. You found your power. You found your fire back. And you're starting to see things starting to turn in your favor. We have the King of Swords here. This is clarity. This is understanding. This is lessons that you learn. This is seeing things as clear as the path you've been walking. This means I'm taking my lessons, I'm understanding where I came from, and now I have to focus on where I'm going with the lessons, right? We could have had some type of ju judgment, you could have went to court. I'm hearing some of you do have some court issues, but the truth will come out is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. You have the six of wands. 
there is definitely a victory that you will see. This fire, I said, it's it's under your dreams and your goals. I feel that there is something that you may have thought you couldn't have, that wouldn't happen in your favor, that wouldn't come your way, and that you're going to feel that things have changed for you. That it's almost like you feel now you may be on a lucky streak. You have the eight of wands, communication, movement. Someone could be coming towards you with a very a solid commitment, a very solid, uh, solid answers is what I'm hearing. Things that you was not aware of or you wasn't sure. Um, you're getting the clarity too on how to move forward during this time of the, of the direction in which you're going. I also feel that you may be in the limelight and people see that it's the truth. Yeah, you have... The Knight of Wands here. With the Knight of Wands, this is perhaps someone's coming back to have a conversation with you uh, that's been away for some time. But I feel like the Knight of Wands is always considered that in and out energy. And this just could be you communicating with yourself like you've got to stop going in and out. Know that at the end of the day, Gemini, there is a victory waiting for you. And maybe the communication is not really clear or it's like you get right there at the door and you stall. That's what I'm hearing. And when you stall, you're starting to bag up and go in a different direction because of sometimes the fears of the past may creep in. But you still have that fire. You have a winning streak going on here. You have the Ten of Wands under the bottom. I feel like... There is some things that's being dropped, like a new beginning. If there's been burdens or disappointment in moving forward, how you want it to show up, yeah. You don't feel like with the moon card, you don't feel like everything is clear, that you have all the answers. Some of you feel like you may be scrambling in the dark. One minute you know what you want to do, the next minute you don't. Some of you are taking time, the three of wands. Just taking time until you can see the direction in which you want to go in or what it is that's really truly coming forth. And what's really coming true and forth for you, Gemini, is a victory. There's a situation coming towards you that you're going to be very surprised in. You don't see it now. But deep down inside, you have the clarity. I feel you feel the movement, the motion. You just may not know where it's heading. But I feel that the situation is about to change for you. You have the two of swords here. Definitely a time of making a choice. And you're just waiting for the proper time to make a choice to move forward. This is something within you. You, you know you have to do something. But the choice I feel is you're making, they can't be wrong choices. It won't be. No matter what decision you make. Now, maybe you feel you're at a crossroad. And I feel the crossroad would be the unknown and the known. It's like you're choosing, do I stand here and wait for change? Or do I take up my strength and my power and my knowledge the king of swords, what I've learned, what I know, and move forward. Sometimes making no decision is stuck or stagnant. But I feel here you may even be feeling like you're taking a rest, a break from life, from people, from places, from things. Maybe even trying to quiet your mind as you sit. Meditation did come out on the end. Some of you are spending some time just alone trying to figure out what it is that you really want to do next. And while you're doing that, the universe is working in your behalf in the background. And the background work that the universe is doing is letting you know that there is about to be a huge change in your life. And whatever this change is, it's going to be a completion of something you've worked so hard for or something that you've wanted for quite some time, Gemini. Let's see what's imagination. Yes. You just want to be happy. 
This is the happiest card in the deck, Gemini. Happiness, completion, clarity. The clarity you've been waiting on, it's coming. I feel there's a joyful moment and your heart reaches for that. I feel that your mind settles in imagining a place and space, whether it's a new home, a new community, new family, a new relationship, a new you. I just feel that your dreams are all surrounded about peace and harmony and love and caring for yourself first and then others. I also feel that Gemini, you are in your mag it comes on the imagination. You're also imagining and remembering the times where they were good. Maybe when you was a child or the love you got from a mother or the love you got from a father. Some of you, that's what keeps you going. Some of you have become a mother or a father and it's really lighting up your life. I feel like some of you may have wanted to have children and you never thought you could. Or some of you, I don't know, I'm just seeing that you have children in your life that are special, that you're so connected to. Maybe you got an even better bond with your sister, your brother, your mother, your father. Something is really bringing forth the peaceful and the happiness that you've been longing and wanting. Yes, we have the Ten of Cups. Happy family. There's, uh, Gemini, if you've been through some things <laughs> and you struggle when it comes to your heart, your emotional happiness and peace, you're getting that. And you're getting it full of love and joy and commitment. And it's right around the corner if you're not already in it. Some of you are already feeling that. We have the Queen of Swords. This is you, the, you know, I feel the universe is telling you to, okay, it's almost like, you know, the Queen of Swords comes up when the Queen of Swords will stand in her power and she only wants to face the truth. And I feel that the universe is saying, this is definitely a truth that you can face, that you're going to be happy, that you are happy, that you're balanced. There's people around you that truly love you. Um, the Ten of Cups is having it all emotionally. That's loving yourself, loving the ones around you that truly love you, care for you, and show up. Um, we also have the Seven of Pentacles here. I also feel that it, for those of you that's working towards this direction, the Seven of Pentacles, the truth, yes, you have to put a little work in there. Maybe it even came with trust and seeing exactly what it is that you have to offer so that you can be happy and move and be motivated to go ahead and begin your own family, to have your own structure. Some of you have to put the work in to begin your own family, all right? Okay, yeah, you can have mom and dad and sisters and brothers, but there's a time where you have to focus on you and start to build your own foundation, whether this is a relationship, uh, your own children, starting, some of you are starting your own family. And you may have had fears in the past with maybe, hmm? hold on one minute. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Maybe it was just a commercial. I have my meditation music on. So maybe that's the sign. It was like an interruption in what you was building, okay? Uh, and But now you're seeing the truth that you got to keep going. You can go ahead and build this foundation, this strong structure. And you're going to be happy. Let's see what else I have. Some of this, you know, with the Nine of Swords, it's answers. Some of you are at looking for answers, want answers from the universe. You know, some of you may have some sleepless nights. You may be having issues with sleeping at night. But I feel that the universe is letting you know with this, like the answers, you know, because the Nine of Swords can also be that you're doing it to yourself because you're searching so hard or asking for guidance 
so and with the sun card and the ten of cups here just be patient maybe it's not happening in the time that you want it to happening as fast as you want it to or your fears are getting the best of you how can i be or what can i do how can i invest how should i be moved and and the universe is saying rest your mind it's just like give me more on the nine of swords spirit this is really in Gemini's mind. Yeah. Don't worry, Gemini. Look at that strong foundation. Love, family, joy, happiness. You're stressing and worrying over nothing. It's going to work itself out, Gemini. You're feeling like, you know, you don't have all the answers now. You don't need them. All you need to do is face the truth within yourself. And what you want is happiness and peace and joy and commitment. Some of you want people to come together and just be happy. I feel like there may be several people around you. Gemini, okay. I'm, this is what I'm getting intuitively. There's a situation that you would like to come together. But it's not going to come together the way you want it to. I'm feeling like you're torn between situations. This is what I'm hearing. And both situations makes you happy. And you prefer them to come together. It's almost like, say if you, this is just an example. You have a sister and brother that doesn't get along. And you want to be with both of them. But maybe they don't vibe, right? So you split your time. One moment you're over here, one moment you're over there. And your goal is for them to come together in unity and so that you could spare, spare, spare yourself of maybe even the travel time of having to go to this one and go to that one and spread your time out. And the universe is like, it's what you don't understand that it's okay. That you love, your heart is split. And every time you feel that you're stressing out, Gemini, about the situation coming together, I feel like you reach for answers or you get stressed out, stressing yourself out. But this is energy outside of you. And you need to just focus on you and let the universe take care of whatever is working itself out around you because it is. Just feel like there's something working itself out around you, and you, you, it's hard for you to see it because there's a certain outcome that you want. Yeah, it's five of wands. There's some type of conflict around you, Gemini, but you've got to let it work itself out. You can't. This is what I'm hearing. You can't save every situation. And every situation isn't going to work out that way. And the other thing, if it's conflict, you got to take yourself out of it. You got to take yourself, remove yourself from any conflict that's around you because the universe has something for you, something better for you. I understand you care about others, whether it's a sister, brother, mother, daddy, whatever the situation is. The universe has, this is your time. And the universe has something to you. For you, and I feel that if there's any conflict around you, you've got to remove yourself from it. Seven of Cups in reverse is causing it's it's the moment that you do that and remove yourself from whatever this conflict is. The Seven of Cups is stagnant, is confusion, is foggy mind. The move the the moment you remove yourself from this, you begin to see clearly. This is in your outcome. You have the sun, the ten of cups, the four of wands. And then, yeah, the ten. You have to drop this, Gemini. You When you drop that, you're going to be so surprised how you open your energy up for exactly what the universe has for you. And that's happiness. That's peace. That's joy. The ten of cups. You're going to get this happiness. You, you just have to make sure that you're not... entertaining this conflict because it could be messing with your emotions 
it could also be hiding what it is that you need to do because you're so focused on it. The Ten of Wands is you're dropping it up. Tell me about this Ten of Wands for Gemini Spirit. Gemini is dropping this burden, yes. There may be a lover, maybe another Gemini around you, but this is a choice. That also represents making a choice. That's your card, Gemini. You come up in your reading. This is a choice. This is divine telling you, like, I have everything under control. I'm protecting you. I'm behind you all the way. Whether this is someone coming into your life that is truly going to make you happy, a soulmate, a decision you decide to make a decision to choose you and be happy. And whatever it is, once that decision is made, it's coming in very quick, Gemini. I don't know if this resonated with any of you, but if it does, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let's get some advice for you, Gemini. What's the advice for Gemini Spirit? What's the advice for Gemini Spirit? The tree of wishes is calling your name. The tree of wishes is calling your name, Gemini. So maybe it don't show up the way you want. But the way that the tree of wishes, and it's a 24, 2, 4 may mean something to you. 4, 5, 6. Also, that's equal give and take and balance. What you've been wanting to work out and balance, it's working in your favor. Release your creative energies, right? Focusing on you. Release your creative energies is like release so that you can move forward, right? You're very creative. Um, there may be some situation around you that maybe it says make use of make use of them in your life. There's maybe some situations around you. Maybe they're not coming together, but they have a reason for being there. There's a choice that you have to make to move forward. And also, Gemini, I'm hearing you need to accept people for who they are. See them for exactly who they are and accept them in that space. You can always love. You can love from a distance. But accept people is what I'm hearing. And not only accept people for who they are, accept yourself, Gemini, for who you are. This change is coming. The tree of wishes uh, is calling your name. It's a matter of you knowing that there are certain situations that you have no control over. And then there's some situations where the guidance is coming in so that you can move forward. And I feel that your whole goal is peace and happiness and joy and commitment. And I see it coming in for you. Um, there is some type of conflict around you that you're going to have to uh, remove yourself from. But the moment you do that, you drop the burdens and you're able to really focus on you and what it is the universe has for you. And what the universe has for you is a happy outcome full of commitment and love, joy, and a firm foundation. Now, there may be some work that has to be put in. You're going to have to come out of your mind and stop focusing so much on others and focus on yourself to have this for yourself. That is what I have for you, Gemini. Um, I wish you the best in this situation, and I will see you in your next reading. Love and light. Bye, Gemini.